The reigning Tour de France champion Garen Thomas is looking to do the double this year and this is his bike of choice, Team Ineos's Pinarello Dogma F12. Two more years of development after the F10 has come up with the F12 and this is both faster and stiffer than that original version. So what is new about this? Well, this is a lighter frame as well, and now the disc brake version is only 20 grams heavier than the rim brake version. But as you can see here, Geraint Thomas and Team Ineos are still sticking with that traditional rim brake frame. What has changed is there are more aerodynamic advantages, and they are saying that this new F12 will save Geraint over eight watts at over 40 kilometers an hour. Now, for you and me, that might be quite tricky, but for Geraint and the rest of the guys in the peloton, those are speeds that they're gonna be doing quite a lot. So this should help save him those crucial bits of energy when it comes to those hard parts of the stages. Like the rest of his team, he's running Shimano Durace, and this is the DI2 version, so obviously that electronic version. Still uses wires but what we've got here is this is running a standard chain set now Geraint has got quite long legs and so he's running 175 millimeter cranks whereas most people will be on 172.5s and he's opted for a 5339 chain set now this first couple of stages are going to be relatively rolling with potential bunch sprints so they're going to be fast stages he's running an 1128 cassette out the back but the rest of it is pretty standard. One of the ways that Pinarello has made the new F12 even faster than the F10 is with a new integrated bar and stem. This is called the Most Talon, and as you can see on here, it's totally internal, so all the cables run through that stem, apart from that front brake, as you can see on there. Now, Garant runs a 130 stem, so again, like a lot of the guys, it's a super aggressive position. Very, very long stem, very aggressive there. He's running a saddle height of around about 78.7 centimeters. So he's pretty tall, but then the guy is tall himself. Geraint's not really one for showmanship, so he's running the standard Team Ineos color scheme here, which is actually a really, really cool color scheme. It goes from the matte carbon that you can see at the top of the frame all the way down to their new burgundy finish. It's a really, really cool fade on there. Obviously, there's a few little features that make it Geraint. So we've got the Welsh flag on the top, which is obviously the best bit of here chosen for a white one on there, but there is a tiny little proper colored one here with his name on as well. They've covered over a few of the, the bolts as well, so where the seat clamp is, so they're trying to get as much aerodynamic advantage as possible with this bike. If we go through the components, obviously Shimano are the component sponsor for Team Ineos, and so we've got not only that full Shimano Durace Di2 group set, but there's also Shimano's Durace wheels on here. So we've got the carbon clinches. These are the shallow section wheels so it's not a bike that he normally runs with deep section wheels uh, right about the 30 millimeter wheels now they run tubular tires like pretty much everybody else in the peloton and their tires are provided by Continental and they are the very special pro limited competition tires so you can't buy these tires these are specifically for their athletes Geraint runs 25 millimeter tires, so we've got 25 millimeter front and 25 millimeter rear, although there is plenty more space in that frame for a wider tire. Pinarello provides not only the bar and stem combo, that talon stem, but there's also the Pinarello integrated seat post as well. So it's the aerodynamics, so it goes in with the aerodynamics of the F12 quite nicely, especially like the fact that they've got the DI2 junction box in the down tube they still retain that nice scalloped down tube which allows the air to flow around the bottles. And Elite are their bottle cage sponsor, so we have two of the Carbon Legero bottle cages on here as well. Longtime sponsor of Geraint Thomas and Team Ineos is Physique Saddles, and Geraint chooses the Arione saddle. There are also markings on the top of the saddle, so his mechanics can tell exactly where to set things up. So there you have it, Geraint Thomas's Pinarello Dogma F12. Yeah.